Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Travis Meyer. Welcome to the weekend. It looks like a fantastic weekend. So many fun activities going on with the huge country concerts going on. We have the Bixby Barbecue and Blues going on, and I'm going to go through a few other ones in just a second. But temperatures are expected to be very good during the course of the day. Again, over 100, right at 100 contestants for barbecue. So if you get a taster's kit, oh my goodness, you'll have the choice of a lot of fantastic things. So it's a great place to be at Bixby. Also, Wasso Trail Days are going on. So we have a garden festival going on, carnival rides, touch a truck. Temperatures are expected to be in the 70s to low 80s, very similar to Bixby because uh, it's pretty uniform right now across the region. Also, Cinco de Mayo is going on Saturday, and that's a River West Festival and uh, stage area. And also, temperatures are going to be great even into the evening. Of course, this goes until the evening about 11 o'clock. Temperatures should be in the 70s, might drop to 65 to 70 by about 11 o'clock. So maybe a light jacket late, but overall it's warm. The only thing again, sunscreen, sunscreen, lots of sunscreen, and then you're happy, happy, happy. All right, so the morning temperatures here in the 50s. We do have a chance some patchy areas of fog. That's about the only negative, and then a lot of sun during the day, and that's not a negative unless you get sunburned. And we'll have temperatures of 80 to mid 80s at most, and mid 80s is like 83. So that's barely mid 80s. As we look on into Sunday, though, then it's not be quite as cool in the morning. We'll still be managing to get in the 50s in some areas, about 58, 60 in Tulsa and down to the south. And during the day, we kind of get a little jump start on temperatures. So we'll be into the 80s. I mean, we're going to be very warm, mid to maybe a few upper 80s. And we're watching a little wave of energy. They'll have a few showers and storms up in southwest Missouri. And that's going to clip eastern Oklahoma. So there is a chance that a few isolated storms, doesn't show much, but there is a chance a few of those could pop into the area and we'll see temperatures that are really even with a north northeast wind coming in by Monday morning. Still again, very pleasant. Enjoy the temperatures while they're in the 50s, kind of cooler, drier air that won't last too long because we're just about ready to make a shift. I do think that the most of these uh, chance of precipitation a little bit high. I think 10% is good. 30% is probably a little high uh, right along the boundary. There could be a few, but that's again exceptionally high compared to what probably will happen. Anyway, so the drought is still a big problem out west. I mean, it's amazing. We, in the last 90 days, we've had 20 some inches of rain in some of these areas from just southeast side of Tulsa, Muskogee, McAllister area. You get up into northwestern Osage County, we've had about five to seven inches. I mean, that's just like amazing in just such a short distance. And it's just right along I-44. And then Oklahoma City, same thing. Southeast ate it, great. Oklahoma City, meh. And then you get just west, awful. So anything in the dark red is like close to desert problems. As we go through the next 10 days, we're looking for amounts of rain to, I mean, and there shows some red, so near an inch, but that's like, we need so much rain. It's May. We need the rain. And right now, there aren't a whole lot of storm systems coming through, and that's for the next 10 days. So that takes us into the middle of the month. And so therefore you get the general idea. There's not a whole lot of storms coming and it looks drier than normal, which is not a good thing, especially when this is when we're supposed to pick up a lot of that moisture for West Texas and Western Oklahoma and Kansas. And then the temperatures on top of the fact we're not going to have much moisture, it's too warm. And so that's a combination we're hoping doesn't take us in the summer, but it could be the beginning of something not good. Don't mark my words, but that's a kind of scary thought. Uh, 54 to 77, so we're just going to enjoy great weather. 83, super Saturday afternoon, six star weather, and then we'll continue the same thing on Sunday. There's that very slight chance of a shower storm late, mainly to the east, and then it's nice. Then we do have a chance of storms coming in late Tuesday night, Wednesday, maybe into late Wednesday night. Then the next chance of storm starts to ramp up a little bit by late Saturday night or Sunday. Still, boy, I'll tell you what, we have shifted gears. It's no longer chilly in my book. That's the Nine Day Planner. Hope you have a great weekend. Don't forget Stephen Nairns. He'll be along for six in the morning. You can always be with us on the scene and on the story by texting 6CONNECT to 79640.